hello beautiful people welcome to those variety kitchen if you are new to this channel you are welcome and to all my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back i love and appreciate you all all right guys like the title rightly said today we are making banga stew i call it the almighty banga stew because it's a no nonsense stew as far as nigerians are concerned it's one of the nigerians most treasured stew and for the ingredient i have dry cut fish pepper onions ginger obey that's fermented castor seed onga so calabash nutmeg which is called ehuru in Igbo. i have here also no cubes crayfish banga that is the palm fruit itself and then the meat i'm using beef tribes and cow intestine goat meat also does well in this banga stew and for the vegetables, I'm using scent leaves and ugo leaves. I didn't buy the roasted calabash nutmeg, so I'm going to be roasting this one before I make use of it. The roasted one always tastes better than the one that is not roasted. So that's why I'm going to be roasting it before I make use of it. I'll go ahead and boil the banga, that is the palm fruit, and boil my meat. I'm going to be seasoning the meat with onions, no cubes, and salt. The palm fruit will be due for pounding after about 30 to 45 minutes of boiling or when you check and the flesh peels off easily. So I'm going to be sieving it out and then get it ready for pounding. Meanwhile, pounding doesn't entail you know, pounding everything including the nuts, but rather trying to separate the flesh from the nuts as we are pounding. So that's it, we are going to do it right now and then I'm going to go ahead to pound it and then extract the palm fruit juice which we are going to be using for our banker steel. So guys I'm done with the pounding and next I'm going to wash my hand thoroughly before going into the next stage which is you know, extracting the palm fruit juice. So in the next few minutes I'm going to extract the palm fruit juice. I normally do this using lukewarm water in order to you know, extract all the extractables okay so that's it that's what i'm going to be doing right now and move to the next stage please ensure to monitor the quantity of water you are adding to this when extracting the juice this is because by the time you add your mist up, it's still going to be more watery so try to be moderate when adding water so as not to get a watery steel unless you prefer somehow watery outcome but if not try to moderate the quantity of water you are adding So guys, having extracted the juice, let's start the cooking properly. Firstly, we're going to let the, the, the juice boil. And while boiling, notice this foam stops on top. Ensure to scoop it out. And once I'm done scooping out, next is to add my dry fish. Okay, I'll add the dry fish and then let them boil together for about 10 minutes before adding the other ingredients. So next I'm going to be adding the meat and its stock followed by the other ingredients. So I'll add the cooking cubes and the other things, that is the other ingredients, 
Meanwhile, apart from the cooking cubes and hunger, I actually grinded every other ingredient together. This is a combination of crayfish, pepper, onions, ginger, labash nutmeg, that's a whole, and then obey, that's fermented castor seed. And then I also add my onga, my salt to taste, I'll stir, and then let it go. When it has boiled for about 5 minutes, I'm going to stir it and then add the scent leaves, okay? I'll add the scent leaves, let it boil again before finally adding the ugo leaves, that's the fluted pumpkin leaves. So I'm going to add the ugo leaves, which is the last ingredient on our list to be added. After adding it, I'm going to leave it for a minute before putting off the heat. And guys, our banga stew is ready, ready to be served. So guys, and if you're watching this video and you yes, to subscribe to my channel, please kindly subscribe to this channel, drop a comment, like my video and also don't forget to share. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.